How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about AMC. I've been getting a lot of requests. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to come through for you guys on this one. As far as the predictions, they have been coming through. I was saying that AMC is due for a nice run up. It has seen the run up, but of course we ended up seeing a pullback inside of the market. If you guys didn't know already, or I don't know if you guys watched my other videos, we had some key data in regards to CPI. It ended up being higher than expected. Plus on top of that, the 10 year treasury yield started spiking well above two percent so what does this do this makes buying stock more expensive for the big money and this has an impact on the tech sector and it can impact the market as a whole so this is why I'm saying if you're going to be trading this or whether you're going to be investing if you're aware of all of this information you'll be prepared for any volatility that is ahead I won't waste any more time let's jump into the agenda if you're new to this channel I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you're a shareholder or you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're gonna go over is the technical analysis. We're gonna be taking a look at the overall price action. We wanna know support, we wanna know resistance, we wanna know what it looks like in the bearish case scenario and as well as in the bullish case scenario. And then we're gonna go on Fintel taking a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information. The reason why this is important because it does have an impact on the way the stock performs. And then we're gonna be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We wanna know the buying and the selling behavior on the retail side, and as well as on the institutional side. And then when all of that is done, we'll be going into the final thoughts, and as well as some more details, so let's- So we're gonna be doing a technical analysis for AMC. Let's see how it performed on the day. So it ended up closing at $18.59, being down 1.85%. On the low, it tested $17.85, and then on the high, testing $20.96. When we take a look at the volume stats on the day, you can see we traded at 98.258 million shares and the average volume over 10 trading days is at 59.156 million shares. So we did have above average volume on the day, but we did have a pullback in the stock. Keep in mind, we did have some choppy market conditions. Now, when we take a look at our chart, which is the daily chart, you can see from the RSI down below, it is at 47.8. Eight. So it's pretty much right there in the middle. And then when we take a look at our moving averages here on the chart, we are below the 200 day, the 100 day, the 50 day, but we are above the 21 day EMA. And this is exactly what we wanted to see from AMC. So one of the things that I was bringing up, you want to see it test the $20 level. And that's exactly what we got. We ended up seeing a high of $20.96. So for this bull run to continue, I want to see us reclaim the 50 day right here at 20 $22.98, so essentially getting to $23. I feel that is very possible, especially if we can get over this choppiness that we've been having in the market. The fact that we were able to close above the 21-day EMA at $18.12 is definitely a good look right there. And you could also see that we've been forming higher lows for the past two trading days. So I'd want to see a continuation of that. So if we have a pullback going into tomorrow, then most preferably I want AMC to hold up at least $18. If it is able to do that and then we can go into next week, this is where I'm going to be looking forward to seeing another test right here to 20 bucks, and then seeing where we can go from there most preferably, like I said, right here at the 50 day. So let's see if we could hold up support on Friday at 18 bucks, and then make that move past 19 and then see where we can go from there. So we're going to take a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information for AMC. So as we scroll down further on the page, green rows indicate new positions while red rows indicate closed positions. So when we take a look at the recent filings as of late for February the 10th. We have TSFG LLC that purchased 23 shares. Really, they got to file that. And then for JP Morgan and Chase, we have a put with the value of the shares being at 312,100 shares. We also have Wisdom Tree that purchased 9,505 shares. We also have Core Cap Advisors LLC that purchased 111 shares. And we see two closed positions from Walled Lake Planning and Wealth Management LLC and Capital Fund Management. Management as well. And then when we go down even further, we have Covester Limited that purchased 205 shares as well. So those are the recent filings. So we see institutions have been showing interest in AMC. Taking a look at the short interest, 
The dark pool short volume ratio is at 55.93%. And then for the dark pool short volume, it is just over 20.78 million shares. Scrolling down further on the page, the short shares availability is at 1.3 million, updated just now. And then for the short volume fee rate, it is at 0.76%. When we take a look at the history of the short volume, you can see for the close of the 8th, it's at 55.22. And then for the close of the 9th, which was yesterday, being at 55.93. So what this shows us, AMC does continue to have short squeeze potential, and is why if we have a lot of buying volume coming into the stock like we saw today, we could see some really nice moves. So now let's move on to the order flow distribution. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for AMC. So we see here on the inflows at 342, and then on the outflows at 314, so it was an inflow day. Taking a look at the breakdown on the large, it was zero. On the medium, it was 231, and then on the small, it was 100. 112. Taking a look at the outflow side, you can see on the large, it was 0 0.79. On the medium, it was 211. And then on the small, it was 102. Taking a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, you can see for February the 10th, which is today, it being that outflow 0 0.79. And we also did have an outflow day on the 9th at 0 0.92. And we also saw this on the 4th being at negative 1.17 million. And as far as for zero on the seventh and as well as the eighth. Analyzing the numbers even further for the small scale orders that tends to represent the retail side, we had more buying than we had selling. Let's go apes. And then on the medium, we could see that we had more buying than we had selling as well. But for the large it represents whales, institutions, and funds, this is where we had more selling than we had buying. And then when we take a look at the turnover ratio, it was at 19.23%. So what this shows us, there's a lot of traders that are going in and out of this play, but there's still many who are holding on to this stock. We know there's a lot of demand in the market for AMC shares, but we also can't ignore the fact that there was a lot of volatility and there was going to be some selling pressure since it was happening across the entire market. So now let's go into the final thoughts and we'll go over some more details as well. So for my final thoughts for AMC, in regards to the price action going into tomorrow, if we see weakness inside of the market, I want to see it hold up at least $18. I think this would be a great achievement and it does set the stock up very well going into next week. As far as the move that I want to see to the upside if things are looking bullish, yes, we want to go back to see if we can break through $21. We ended up seeing a high of $20.96. So this is why I'm saying I believe that AMC should be trading above $20 here. Let's be honest, I know many of you can agree with me, but the pullback that we had gives us a good idea of where this stock can possibly go. So again, let's look for AMC to hold 18 bucks and let's see if we can get a potential move going to 20 bucks and then seeing where it could go from there. And I want to see it get up to the 50 day moving average at $23 and 29 cents because that's when things can get very, very interesting. If we have a pullback below 18 bucks, then I'm going to look for some support to hold up around 17.50. Also, when we went on Fintel, taking a look at the short interest information it does continue to have short squeeze potential and one thing we do know there's a lot of demand in the market for amc shares but we have to understand as far as for the market conditions if there's a lot of buying that's going to be happening amc benefits from this we got to stop isolating amc from the market as a whole let's be honest if there's going to be a strong sell-off this stock is going to be selling off if there's going to be a lot of buying then of course amc is going to benefit and plus on top of that it looks like as far as the pandemic is concerned Concern, things are going to start clearing up over the months and I feel that AMC is going to be seeing a lot of upside and benefiting tremendously from that because more people will be able to come into movie theaters. We already know as far as for the refinancing they're working on this so they can have more theaters opened up to the public. Again this benefits the stock in the long run. So I still see that there's a lot of upside in this play so if you want to jump into it do your homework and do your due diligence. I am not going to pressure you whatsoever and I can't give you financial advice either but I feel that is very very important since this stock is very volatile and that's something you need to know. Any money that you do put into this play or even in the stock market as a whole, you can't be afraid to lose it. You can't have any emotions in the money. What you need is high conviction and also have the ability to stay patient. We've seen this stock pull back being at the $14 area, going into the $13 range and look where it's at right now, testing just under 21 bucks. Again, Patience pays off. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see how AMC performs going into tomorrow. We'll talk soon.